everybody. Uh, my name is Morten. Uh, I'm from Denmark and I am a, a sales rep representative here from Denmark. I've uh, spent the last seven years driving around, starting uh, new customers up with Hydroset, our cryosurgery product. And uh, I would like to show you how to use it uh, the proper way in a very short video. I would like you to show you the most important uh, things, uh, the three steps which I show everybody. And all the rest, uh, you can of course uh, look into our uh, materials, uh, our treatment guides, and we also have patient leaflets. But there's three things which is important when you use Hydrocid. Uh, and I always say number one is uh, uh, when you push the trigger, uh, it's important that you hold a little low, far, farther uh, down on the trigger. And I control, I, I can best control it with one finger. And uh, some people have best with two fingers, but I can best control with one finger here. And then it's important that uh, you have the two finger distance, uh, two to three centimeters or two fingers distance to the uh, indication. Could be a ward, could be a lentigo. Uh, and then the last thing is the sound when you treat. The sound should be uh, just like a small whistling sound. You can almost not hear it. Um, and this is the right sound. Uh, it, it's supposed to sound like this when you treat. If you if you uh, if you hear it like uh, uh, like this, this is much too much too much. Let's take another one here. Uh, you can also see it straight away. Uh, this is the proper way. And when you do it in the proper way, you also have the opportunity to spread the ice up to this size. Not bigger, I would say, uh, and you don't have the same. If you push too hard, it just runs and uh, it crystallizes. So that's the right way to, to, to out of the box, right? And then you have on the box. You also have in the, on the back of the box. You have you have all the approved uh, conditions, and in the middle you have the recommended uh, uh, freeze thaw cycles. And uh, I would definitely look at those because they are very important. So you don't freeze too long on a lenticle. You can make uh, hyperpigmentation if you freeze too long on a lenticle. Of course, uh, of course, you also have dermatologists dermatolog uh, who they know how long to freeze on a actinical keratosis, grade one, grade two. But in general, this uh, rec uh, recommended freezing times is a very good uh, place to start. And um, I didn't show you, but you have in every package of Hydrocid, you have uh, uh, these templates. Uh, and they are really good because you can, uh, you can use them to, to protect the healthy skin. And then you just use these uh, when, you, when, you, uh, when you treat. This is the proper way to use it. If you push too hard, uh, then it will, you know, splat out. So <laughs> use it the proper way. Yes. Thank you. I hope you succeed out there. Bye-bye.